So pretty much every day during stream, someone in chat asked me how is my aim so good even though I'm new to Overwatch. Now, I don't think my aim is anything special, but it has gotten to the point where I needed to make a video on TikTok to prove I was new to the game. And no, I'm not kidding. Because of that, I've come to the conclusion that many of you and your friends could use a little help learning a few things to improve your aim. Even though I'm new to Overwatch, I've gotten a couple thousand hours of aim training alone and even more hours in FPS shooters. So in this video, we'll go over a few things that you can do to help improve your aim from what I've learned. By the way, before you click away, this video is not only for PC players, everything in this video can be applied towards console. I didn't forget about you guys, I promise. Also, almost 99% of you are watching my videos and not subscribe. I have two strong words for you. Come on. Come on. Oh, I, I, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, sure. All right. Yeah, sure. Why not? Firstly, let's go over one incredibly important fundamental that I know most of you are suffering from, and that would be crosshair placement. Just by watching a few play of the games and videos I've seen on TikTok, I've been able to identify that too many people don't understand crosshair placement. The general rule of thumb is to keep your crosshair to shoulder and neck level. This becomes incredibly beneficial for heroes like Sojourn, Cassidy, or even Soldier due to how much they benefit from headshots. You never want to be looking at the ground or, to be honest, even towards their stomach. You always want to have your crosshair as close to shoulder level as possible. Even when peeking or holding an angle for waiting for someone to come through, it's good to have your crosshair in a position that you know someone's going to be at where you're not looking at their legs. Now that you understand that, let's get into a few types of aiming. You have tracking, click timing, blicks. Tracking, more importantly, smooth tracking is going to be beneficial for every hitscan hero or for anyone who uses an automatic weapon. For click timing, this is going to be your single fire heroes like Hanzo, Cassidy, or Ash. These will also be the same heroes that benefit most from flicks, which are rapid movements to hit a target. Now let's go over how to practice these. The most simple and convenient way to practice this is to load up an aim trainer inside of Overwatch. The fact that Overwatch has this option available is honestly incredible. Some games lack this, so make sure to take advantage of it. This will allow you to practice real hitboxes and account for bloom or if a character is hit scan or not. To do so, simply go to custom game. Next, you'll want to click create and import this code on the screen right here by clicking the settings. If you don't want anyone joining, you'll have to make it so where it's friends only if you're okay with them coming in. Also, before you start, if you want to practice more efficiently, you can turn on infinite ammo. Just click hero and then click general on the upper left. Go down to the bottom and you can see where you can turn on infinite ammo. Also on the hero section of the screen, you can also turn off Doomfist rocket punch as it's incredibly freaking annoying. At this point now, you can go ahead and start up the aim trainer. If you want to practice your click timing, I'd suggest selecting a hero like Cassidy, Ash, or Sojourn. Doing this will also allow you to practice your crosshair placement as heroes like Ash, Cassidy, and Sojourn all benefit greatly from headshots. Focus on keeping your crosshair neck level to ensure more consistent headshots. You also want to make sure that you're shaping too as this will make you more comfortable while moving while shooting while in a real game. Targets will also be in the air, so it'd be good practice to try taking them down too. Next for tracking, hold R, select a hero like Tracer, Sombra, or Soldier. You can even you can also use Sojourn, but she isn't hit scan. But if you're a Soldier in main, it would also be beneficial to use her as well. In here, abilities have no cooldown either, so you can practice using Sojourn's ultimate to practice your headshots. When practicing your tracking, it is important to try to smoothly track your target through directional changes and even while moving in one direction. You want to react to directional changes and not try to predict them moving in another direction. Direction. When you get too comfortable trying to predict a target's directional change, you'll end up messing up your own shot. Just focus on the direction the target is already going and leave it there. Once the target does change the direction, then react to that properly. If the targets are too easy or too hard, you can change their difficulty by interacting with this panel right here. Turn the difficulty up or down based on your aiming capabilities. This next part will be something only PC has access to. For this, you'll want to either use Kovacs or Aimlab. Since I use Kovacs, let's go over that one first. Honestly, there's multiple playlists you could use. For me, there's just two that I like the most. The first one focuses on improving your ability to strafe and aim at the same time. This skill is truly invaluable as unless you're playing a tactical shooter, you'll always be doing this. I'll have the code for this playlist in the description below. The second one is simply under the online playlist. Just select Overwatch 2 and press play. I've only recently started doing this playlist, but I already enjoy it. Since it's made specifically for Overwatch, it helps improve all forms of aiming in multiple scenarios. If you don't want to use Kovacs since you have to pay for it and you'd rather use Aimlab since it's free, I'd honestly suggest you just use one of the Apex playlists. As someone who's came from Apex to Overwatch, the aiming isn't really too different. The main difference is that no gun in Apex is hitscan. 
But other than that, the movement that is in both games is pretty similar. All in all, the only real way to improve is by practicing. Some of you may not want to hear this, but the reality is that the reason some of your aim may not be that good is because you don't commit time into practicing your aim. Playing Overwatch can provide you with enough reps to elicit improvement, but overall it's better to do so in isolated scenarios. Just commit the time to practice and I promise you the results will show. And if you're someone who doesn't believe practice is beneficial, I'm going to leave you with this last note. Steph Curry didn't become the best shooter of all time by simply just sitting down in a chair all day. He went to the gym and he got his reps and he shot against someone who was not defending him. Tom Brady didn't become the best quarterback of all time by simply just sitting on the couch either. He went out to the field and he threw ball after ball after ball. Even though there isn't the constant crowd pressure, there isn't the constant pressure from the defense either. Yes, the scenarios aren't real, we know this, but regardless, practice overall will help you improve. If you enjoyed today's video or found any of this information helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that like button as it'll help the video reach more people, which can be your way of helping them improve. If you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.